typical day for me um, is waking up early. Um, I have three children, so getting them ready for school um, and then getting into the office. Mostly I have meetings first thing in the morning with my team um, and then throughout the day I have several meetings. Some of them are online given the whole COVID situation and some face to face. Um, I also walk around the bakery as well to inspect and to make sure that everything is fine. Um, and then I tend to leave work around six o'clock and head home to the family. Hello, my name is Nike Majakodumi and I am the founder and CEO of Nuts About Cakes Bakery. COVID really affected um, our business. Um, it was a very difficult time. We had to shut down five of our eight stores because there was not much movement in these areas. Um, and then also the sourcing of raw materials. Um, luckily, we are considered an essential business, so we were allowed to stay open because we're a food business. Um, but sourcing for materials at this time was difficult because most of the markets were, were closed. Um, and then also, we you know, were very concerned about our staff's health and safety, about their movement. They weren't always able to get public transportation. So we really had to get quite creative during this period. One of the things that we did was we partnered with other bakeries and it was almost like for forming a coalition with other bakeries so that we could um, buy in bulk directly from the manufacturers and that really helped us as well. Um, secondly, we housed about 70 of our staff in-house. We shut down our cafes, we shut down our training schools and we housed and fed them for about a year just to keep them sort of you know, in the same environment and working and safe from the virus. Um, also, we went digital, so we went online. We did a lot of online marketing and deliveries as well. So that was a way for us to at least continue um, the business and make sure that we have um, a, sustained, a sustained business. And luckily and thankfully, things are getting back to normal. <laughs> There's been a lot of lessons um, I've learned from running a business in Nigeria. Um, I think one of the first ones is to try and do the right thing from the beginning. Start as you mean to go on. Um, and that's where I think one builds the sort of energy and some culture as well. Another thing it has taught me is to rely on your team. It's very important to understand that you cannot do it all alone and you need a team, a strong team around you and you have to build that team as well to help you to be successful in business. I think businesses can thrive in Nigeria by um, you know, always sort of communicating with the customer, um, always ensuring that the team um, is supportive, always ensuring that they have proper culture in the organization um, building that culture is very essential to the success of the business. So, Nuts About Cakes is a bakery. We focus on pastries, cakes and bread. We also have a training school where we teach other people how to make um, these products. I fell into the business by accident about 14 years ago. I was currently working and I was working in um, business management, sort of business advisory. And one day I went into the kitchen, found a recipe on the internet and I made some cookies. And, um, you know, I started giving out to people and people liked the cookies. And one day somebody offered me some money to make their, them cookies for their friends, uh, for their kids. And that's how I made my first sale. And after tasting the sweet smell of success, no pun intended, I decided <laughs> To, um, to set up a business. So we started off with um, doing a lot of things with nuts. That's why the name actually has nuts in it, but it actually denotes being crazy about cakes. So that's, yes. <laughs> so our business operations um, are pretty simple, really. We have two production hubs, um, one on the island and one on the mainland, and they produce for our eight um, branches and then we distribute to the branches um, first thing in the morning, cakes, pastries and cakes. So the sector um, we play in is the baking um, industry and it has changed significantly over a number of years. I started baking about 14 years ago and then there was no Instagram. And now Instagram is such a huge part of our industry. 
Um, in the last, I would say, five or six years, we have a lot more people going into the industry and they're home bakers. So we have people who have baking as their side hustle. It's great for you know, a lot of people to go to work and then they can come home and bake and you know, develop and build a business that way. Um, so we have so many more home bakers coming in. Um, and so it, the, the industry has really, is really grown in an informal way. So the, the challenges in this sector um, I spoke earlier about the home bakers. The challenges are the home bakers again. So, um, so for us, we are a highly regulated um, industry. Um, we, you know, we have to answer to the Ministry of Health, Ministry of Environment, to NAFDAQ. Um, so it's, we're really regulated and we have to get our licenses and certificates and be assessed. But home bakers are not and they actually are adding up to be a large proportion of you know, people in this industry, in the cake industry. Um, and they're not regulated and the health and safety standards might not be generally in place there. They don't have the same cost structure as I do. You know, we have to pay sort of pensions and group life insurance and health insurance and you know, certification and LASA and LASA. so all those other things which they don't have. And we all have to compete with the same, you know, for the same customers on the same platforms, for example, Instagram and Facebook. So those are some of the challenges. Um, our industry is trying to address that. Um, there's a newly formed National um, Association for Cake and Sugar Crafts Professionals, of which I'm also on the exco of that. And it's just about bringing in home bakers you know, certifying them, making sure that the health and safety and training standards are also in place and it's a level playing field for everybody.